Welcome along to Footy Talks, presented by Powerade, the MLS Cup Playoffs edition. And uh, thrilled now to be joined by one of Toronto FC's latest signings, Ralph Preso, who made his debut just a couple of weeks ago. Um, 18 years of age, having come through the academy there. Ralph, it's great to see you. Thanks for being on the show this week here on Footy Talks. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me. Uh, first off, uh, so much we can get to, Ralph, but I want to ask about what it's been like this week for you guys after all that time having to be away and training in Hartford to finally be able to be back in Toronto and, and to be back able to train, um, obviously, in this mod modified quarantine uh, back in more familiar surroundings. Yeah, it's it's been good. It's been kind of weird even to be at home and just come into the training ground because we've been away for so long so just kind of having our stuff kind of how we were used to having it having our change room having just the facility the kitchen the food back is all good hopefully we still have you there ralph how's it been for you this season with the way that things have gone on obviously you have come from somewhere where you were given your contract you were signed and then you're obviously looking to get your minutes greg Vanny was talking about how high he rated you before you even played, which I'm sure must have felt wonderful for you. And then you got the chance to get minutes. Then you got the chance to start games. How's this season been like for you? Yeah, it's it's been kind of an up and down year. Just the TFC2 season got canceled, so I didn't really know what I was going to do to get games this year. I, have, I didn't play before I got in for the Philly game. So I was just trading... I was doing pretty well, and then I got the opportunity, and I think I did think I did well. And now it's just the matter of just training well, and then fighting for more minutes. I know that uh, you were training a little bit with the the first team earlier on in the season, and then of course they went to Orlando. Um, when you get back from Orlando, and, and Greg Vanny wants you to be involved and wants you to be part of the traveling party and, and going down to Hartford and, and being part of the first team, what did that feel like when you when you knew that that was the next step along towards getting the contract and being able to make the debut? Um, I'd say it was, it was, I wouldn't say it was a surprise, but I would say it was kind of quick. I think kind of going from training and just being a, a TI in the environment, just kind of getting a taste to being thrown into a game straight away was kind of a, was a pretty big jump. I think, it was a little bit, yeah, quick, but I wouldn't say, I, I'd say it was fine. It wasn't overwhelming or anything. I'd say, I think I've adjusted to the step pretty well. And now I just want to, just want to keep going, just keep going faster and faster, obviously, but I just want to keep moving forward and just improving. Ralph, everybody we speak to both, you know, talking to about you as a young man and a player are very impressed with you. Um, maybe you can share with our viewers of the TFC fans from all around the world, what it was like growing up in, in Canada. Uh, with your love for the sport when did you start loving the sport when did you think about it could be something that you could do professionally and and what were those who were those heroes what were those teams and games that you grew up watching when you were younger that influenced you yeah so I started playing soccer at three I started at a club called clearly Westview moved to North Toronto soccer club at I think 10 11 and then from there we were playing against TFC Academy and OPDL. So I was kind of playing against them there a little bit. And then they, I came into TFC at 14. And then in my first kind of two, three months at the club, I thought that I, if I off that I, this could be something I could do as a job. So I didn't really want anything else really, because I, I don't really like anything else. So <laughs> those first years, just at the club, I took stuff thought that if I just kind of fix up my trading habits, fix up the way I kind of dedicate myself, that it could be something that I do because I'm pretty good at it. But obviously, I just need to take that next, that next step in my mentality. And I think over the past kind of year, two years, I've, I've had. And I think kind of teams I grew up watching, I'm an Arsenal fan. So kind of the... Cause Sorry about that. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it's pretty bad now. But I kind of grew up watching Ozil a lot, Cazorla, and then I really like watching French, the French league. So I really like the Mota, Verratti, and Rabio. Those are kind of guys that I watched a lot. 
Awesome. What was your first Toronto FC memory? Did you used to go to games at all? Sorry. T your first TFC memory, did you used to go to games at all as you were growing up? Yeah, I didn't I didn't really go to games before I joined TFC. I joined TFC yesterday. The earliest memory I have is when Jovinko scored two free kicks at BMO. I don't remember the team it was against, but I remember that game. Uh, did they win? Uh, they, I think he scored two free kicks one game against Orlando. Um, off. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, um, that, that, uh, when you think about where this club has come from to where you are now, well, you mentioned Javinko and you're able to pull on the same jersey that some of these players pulled on who were able to get this club to, to MLS Cup in 2017. Um, must give you a lot of, a lot of, um, pride, not only representing yourself, but this team and this town as well that, that you've grown up in. Yeah, it's it's great. You know, I think playing at home in front of just family, friends, and kind of just old teammates that you grew up with in the academy, I think everyone wants to make that jump from the academy to the first team. And I think as kind of kind of take it in and kind of just enjoy it and appreciate it a little bit more because we've kind of grown up and had to go through all the steps and kind of just go step by step and then finally getting to the first team. It still doesn't really feel like I'm a first team player, but just being in the environment and training with the first team, playing with them, just being around them is great. And it's something that, that you kind of, it's an accumulation of hard work for years. So it's obviously great. Well, you are a member of the first team. You played significant minutes and played a massive part already on this in this season. So congratulations for that. When you're around true professionals who've been in, a, in the game a long time, you know, Omar Gonzalez, Michael Bradley, now Jonathan Azorio, Lawrence Seymour, many of those TFC players are there. Uh, I just named a handful of them. What are you learning from them when you watch them on a daily basis? I think you take things like just body positioning and just being clean technically. But I think for me, the biggest thing is just the intensity and, and mentality and training. Right? Just, we trained today and it was really like everyone was really focused. Guys are kind of guys are being demanding of each other. Guys are getting on each other. Guys are making sure that everything's done. Just like the game, and I think that's the biggest difference for me in the first team because I think obviously in the academy we train well, we're all good players, but I think just that ability and just making sure that everything is done well is, is just a, a different level, and it's good. Make sure that I'm focused for the whole session. Just want to ask you about Canada as well. You, uh, the first time we got the chance to really see you playing uh, in full games was when we did the Under-17 World Cup last year on, uh, on TSN. Um, and you're there in that first game playing for Canada in Brasilia against Brazil. Um, when you're standing out there on the pitch there in that sort of an environment against the home nation in, an, in a, a Youth World Cup like that, um, with the eyes of the world on you, what, what 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 was going through your mind, Ralph, at that point? And how good an experience was the whole tournament? Yeah, I think I think the best moment from that game was when we were just in line in during the games. I was kind of just in the stadium, seeing a packed stadium, seeing my parents in the crowd, seeing my mom, seeing my like our Jaden's parents, uh, Jason Russell Rose's parents, just guys that we've grown up with together, and just kind of being in that moment. And just kind of see it's watching us in a big game like that against really the biggest footballing nation in the world was just kind of surreal. And it was crazy to just kind of take and just kind of look around and just kind of be in awe a little bit just before the game where then you have to focus up and then kind of just get to business. So it was it was it was great. It was an amazing experience. Obviously, we didn't do as well as I thought we could have, but I think that I've learned from for sure. Last one for me, Ralph. You mentioned it there a little bit, but maybe just take us into the last couple of days with the training. Obviously, it's a while till you play. There's a, there's a big gap there, but it sounds like already the team is gearing up to be um, the mentality at the very, very top, Reddit, heading into a playoff run that you hope can take you all the way to a trophy. Sorry, if I, I, the connection is not the greatest. I didn't really hear that. That's okay. No problem. You can hear me now. I just want to ask you if you can just share with the TFC fans the uh, the spirit in the camp over the last couple of days. It sounds like, as you mentioned, that it was an intense training. And even though there's a lot of days off still till that, that next game that you play, it sounds like that you could play tomorrow if you needed to and you're ready to go to win another trophy. Yeah, I think 
everyone on the team is really focused up now because it's playoff time. Everyone's kind of just being sure that there's no no room for error. Everything's just 100%. And I think everyone's in kind of that mentality now that we know that it's it's do or die every game, every moment, every action of the game. Everyone's just kind of focused on to just fight for MLS Cup, which is for me is great because it's it's where I can kind of just learn really how to win and what it takes to win and just learn winning habits. Last question before we let you go, Ralph. Um, number 97, is there any reason for that or was that just the number that you somehow were given here by TFC? Yeah, I came up from the academy to USL. That was the number I was given. And then go, coming up from night, from USL to the first team, really all the, like, my preferred number making. So I thought as well, just keep it in something a little bit different. So maybe it, it'll just help me. It, people just kind of connect. So I thought, oh, why not? Perfect. Thanks. Uh, we really appreciate you you being with us today, Ralph Preso. All the best uh, for the next few weeks. Congratulations on what you've achieved. Um, and it's going to be an exciting time through the playoffs. Your first postseason, of course, uh, as a, a pro player with an MLS team. So uh, best of luck for what's to come. Thanks, Ralph. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Ralph. Great to have everyone with us. Uh, we'll see you again. There'll be an MLS Cup playoff preview show on TSN next Wednesday as we get you set for the whole playoffs and then footy talks next Thursday, 12.30. Thanks, everyone. Be safe.